As with the story node, you can add images, text, and sounds to a level node. You can choose the number of encounters you will face in this level, from 1 to 5. You can choose the size of the encounters as well. Swarm will yield a lot of smaller enemies, and a boss will tend to trend towards one harder enemy. Standard is balanced. You can set the difficulty offset for this particular level, and you can choose which type of tile set will be chosen. If you choose by category, you can choose from a major tile set, such as a dungeon, Japanese, steampunk, post-apocalyptic, etc. Individual levels will let you choose a specific subset of that tile set, such as dungeon, caves. If you leave this selection alone, it will be randomized. Note that there is an option here to make the randomization dynamic. This will make it so that it's static and will always be, let's just say, the caves. And dynamic means it'll be different every time. If you select multiple types, the random will choose between the types you've selected. Now let's take a closer look at the advanced options. Enabling false output creates a false output for the node. This means that I can create a fail condition for the player. The difficulty curve option determines how much the difficulty will ramp based on all of the encounters you face in this level. Custom encounters are a very important part of the game. They allow you to customize what enemy you're going to face inside of a level. So if I go back up here and I set the encounter to 1, and I set my encounter here, I can reliably face whichever enemies I set. I simply hit select and begin to select the enemies that I want to see in this level. There's an eclectic bunch. If you leave the encounter size blank, the encounter will just feature these three enemies. The game will try to scale it so that they're still going to provide a challenge to the player. However, I can set the encounter size here, and the encounter will be chosen based on these enemies, but we'll try to match the size of the encounter selected. The other options here are pretty self-explanatory. They're going to control how often they appear, how difficult the encounter is, and whether it only will appear once per level if there were multiple encounters. You can also set unique combat music here, and you can add tags to the enemies in the encounter. There's more information available on tags in the video associated with the tag node. And finally, you can control the cosmetics of the level. You can set the day-night cycle, you can override the exploration music, and you can override the ambient track.